Hello, my name is Dino Hoss, and today we are going to be running through errors not affecting the trial balance. In some ways, the worst type of error because the trial balance will show um, two correct balancing figures, um, and you'll think you'll have done a great job as an accountant, but in fact, uh, you have made a mistake and the figures are not correct, even though they do balance. So the first thing to point out is that you need to remember that these names, like the error of commission, principal, original entry, omission, compensating and reversal errors, are only used to describe an error that does not affect the trial balance. So if you find an error um, that does, then you shouldn't really be using these names when you correct them in the journal. The first error that uh, doesn't affect the trial balance is known as an error of commission. Here the error um, is one where you've put the amount into the wrong person's account. So here, um, short paid us um, an amount of money, uh, in this case it was 500. But instead of entering it on the debit side of short's account, we accidentally enter it um, in D small's account. So to correct that, we would use the journal book for original entry. And um, using the T accounts that you can see here on the video, the original error was entered here on May the 18th on the debit side. So to cancel that out, we would simply credit Small's account because Small didn't make the payment. And then enter on the debit side uh, the $500 into Short's account from Smalls. So effectively, on the date you discover the error, which in this case is May the 31st, you would credit Small um, and debit Short's account. And now the payment is in the correct account, D Short, and is on the correct side, uh, on the debit side. Um, in the journal, of course, you'd put the date that you found the error, debit D Short, credit D Small, and then simply in the narrative you would write the correction of an error of commission. The second type of error that does not affect the trial balance is known as an error of principle. Here you have simply entered the uh, transaction, the double entry, into the wrong type of account. So when you purchase, in this example, a motor vehicle, that should go onto the debit side of a asset account or a non-current or fixed asset account. But instead of doing that, we accidentally put it into our motor expenses account. So to correct that, we would have originally debited the motor expenses in error on May the 14th. To correct it, we cancel it out by doing a credit entry in the motor expenses account for 55,500 on the day we discover the error, which is May the 31st, and we debit the motor vehicle account on May the 31st. In our journal, we would simply debit motor vehicle and credit motor expenses, and the narrative would read as a correction of an error of principle. The third type of error that does not affect the trial balance is known as an error of original entry. And this is simply where you've entered the wrong number, but on the correct debit and credit side of the correct account. So here we can see a sale of 1,500, which was made to T. Biggins on May the 13th. But instead of entering the 1,500, we made a mistake and we only entered 1,300. Obviously, we've copied the number down incorrectly. So the original double entry shows credit sales, which is correct for the wrong amount, only 1,300, and debit T. Biggins 1,300. Obviously, we should have entered 1,500, so the difference is 200, which we simply do on the date that we discover the error. We do a credit entry of 200 to bring this up to 1,500, and we do a debit entry in T. Biggins account. Uh, because obviously we made the sale to that debtor on credit uh, for the amount of 200 on the date that we discovered the error. Again, we would debit T. Begins account 200 and credit sales 200 in our journal book of original entry. And in the narrative, we would simply show the correction of error of original entry as the um, written statement of what we have actually done to correct the um, error of original entry. The fourth error that does not affect the trial balance is known as an error of omission. Uh, simply, the accountant has omitted or forgotten to do the double entry. 
So on the date you discover that that uh, double entry hasn't been done, you simply would uh, enter it in the journal and do the double entry into your T accounts. So here we purchased from T Slope $2,500 worth of goods on actually May the 13th, but we don't discover that until May the 31st, or we certainly don't discover that the double entry wasn't done. And so as a result, we would simply debit our purchases, credit T Slope, who is our creditor, in both our purchases ledger and general ledger, and that would be shown on May the 31st in the journal as a debit purchases credit T slope um, double entry, and the narrative would read as the correction of an error of omission. The fifth error is known as the compensating error, um, and this is a very difficult one in some ways to explain and a highly unlikely one to happen. The chances are. Uh, sort of like winning the lottery, really, the, the fluke. Um, but, you know, it could uh, realistically happen, therefore it has to be mentioned. It's also not an uncommon question when it comes to uh, the uh, accounting exams. So, basically, it's where you overcast in two totally unrelated accounts. So here, you've added plus 100 on the credit side of your sales. And just by a fluke, you've also made a mistake with a plus 100 on the debit side of your purchases. Well, of course, those two errors will cancel each other out, and so your trial balance will still balance as a result. So to correct it, we simply have to cancel it out by debiting the sales uh, account and crediting the purchases account. And effectively, what you've done here is you've just wiped out 100 on the sales and 100 on the purchases to take it back to the correct figure, which should be 4,400 for your purchases and 9,400 for your sales. The correction is debit sales, credit purchases of 100, and the narrative would read as a, comp a correction of compensating or a compensating error. The final error that does not affect the trial balance is a complete reversal of entries. Here, uh, the accountants made quite a, uh, a, a significant mistake. Um, they've entered a debit when it should be a credit and a credit when it should be a debit. But as long as the accountant in error has entered the same amount on the incorrect side of the debit, uh, and the incorrect credit side, then of course the trial balance is still going to show um, a balancing figure, even though that figure is incorrect. So what we need to do to correct a reversal of entry is double the original incorrect entry, because it's on the wrong side, so you've got to cancel out um, the number that's on the incorrect side and then add on the amount that was the original entry that should have been done correctly. Sounds complicated, but it's not actually that difficult. If I can uh, show you here on the video screenshot, um, uh, we receive a check from Charles of $2,000. Now, you know, that's a fairly simple double entry. That would um, um, come out of G. Charles's account and go into our bank account, except unfortunately we have reversed the errors. So instead of a um, a uh, debit entry for the bank money received, we've put it on the credit side here incorrectly and on the debit side. So it's almost like we've paid Charles, whereas actually Charles has paid us. So what we need to show here on this side is an entry of $2,000. And what we need to show here is $2,000 that leaves Charles's account when he pays us and goes into our bank accounts. So as we've reversed the entries originally, we've got to cancel out this original 2000 which is on the wrong side. And we've got to cancel out this 2000 here in the bank account, which is on the wrong side. But we double the amount because to get the additional 2000 on the debit side of the bank here, and the initial 2000 that should have been on the credit side of Charles's account when he paid us, then we have to cancel out the 2000 and add another 2000 on top. So the credit entry out of Charles's would be 4000. 2000 to cancel out this 2000 on the debit side, 
and 4,000 on the debit side of our bank account to cancel out the incorrect 2,000 here and add the 2,000 that should be on the debit side. The journal book of original entry would show a bank debit entry of 4,000, credit entry to Charles's account of 4,000, and a narrative that would simply state that we have corrected a reversal of entry.